off a day, everyone. Welcome to this virtual resolution presentation. Today we are here to present resolution number 248-36. This is relative to recognizing the observance of 2022 National School Counseling Week for February 7th to February 11th, 2022, with the theme School Counseling Better Together and commending the Guam Department of Education School Counselors and the Guam Association of School Counselors for their continued dedication and commitment to the youth of Guam. I'd like to recognize everyone who is here with us in the Zoom room uh, from the Board of Education, Mr. Peter Alexis Ada, half a day, sir, um, from uh, the Guam Association of School Counselors, outgoing president, Estella Kalata, half a day. We also have Laura Agar from Guam, George Washington High School. Uh, we have Leilani P. Guerrero from UOG School of Education. We have Michael Menno, principal of Southern High School, Patty Terlahi, counselor from the Guam Community College, and Corcoran from school counselor from Daniel L. Perez Elementary School. We have Maria Blessa Ramos from Simon Sanchez High School school counselor, and from the office of the superintendent, Michelle Franquez, uh, and Jillian D. Agarola from Jose Rios Middle School. Half a day, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. If I missed anyone, please let me know in the chat so I can recognize you on this special day in honor of our school counselors. We're here today to commend the Guam Department of Education's school counselors and the Guam Association of School Counselors during the observance of 2022 National School Counseling Week with the theme School Counseling Better Together. Our local school counselors have dedicated their tireless efforts in providing the support and guidance to the success of Guam's youth. In light of recent limitations due to the global health pandemic, Guam's school counselors continue to advocate for our island's youth by providing direct and indirect services and curricular activities to increase the knowledge and school skills so they may achieve to their full potential inside and outside of the school setting. During the observance of the 2022 National School Counseling Week, Better Together, the 36th Guam Legislature and our island community would like to recognize the hardworking school counselors in Guam and express Andunkala Nasiduas Maasi for maintaining and facilitating professional standards that affect change for the overall success of all our island students and Guam youth. FIBA school counselors, and we're wishing you all a very happy National School Counseling Week. I'd like to invite all of our friends here, our school counselors, our school principals, our uh, board, if they'd like to uh, share some words about the importance uh, of this week that we're celebrating. And I'd like to start with uh, Estella Kalata, who is our outgoing president of the Guam Association of School Counselors. Thank you, Senator Shelton. I'd like to uh, greet uh, all the honorable senators of the 36th legislature, Guam legislature, and also the Guam Education Board who are here, Mr. Ada. Thank you for being here. And all our principals who are here, uh, Ms. Mafnas, Mr. Menno, and I know that some are still coming in. <laughs> Uh, all the school counselors who are here, I know that we have been uh, also bombarded with a lot in the school system, but we are here. Um, I just came from uh, Washington, D.C. together with Jolyn Egorola to represent Guam for the first time for the American School Counselor, School Counselor of the Year event at uh, the Union uh, Station in Washington. And we are very... Uh, fortunate and very grateful 
that uh, Guam has been given a voice in uh, the national event. Uh, so we had a chance to meet with the Secretary of Education, uh, Miguel Cardona, and uh, Surgeon General uh, Marti for uh, giving us a, a chance to listen to the critical issues involving school counseling. And one is really very important is that uh, school counselors do need partnership because we're better together with other uh, stakeholders, such as our legislature, our senators, our governor, our principals, our school counselors, school psychologists, our nurses, social workers, our parents. Without our working together, we will never be able to do our job as school counselors. Uh, we are so fortunate and we are so lucky and grateful that we had a chance to listen to what the Secretary of Education mentioned about how he is uh, uh, actually prioritizing social emotional learning and wellness for all students and not only students but also for all educators that we are all important in this journey uh, because there is trauma that's happening and that we are able to navigate through this uncertainty and in this journey uh, out of the pandemic only when we work and when we are together okay, as, a, as a community uh, of helpers and community of compassionate workers with our students. Um, we are also very very excited because uh, the Secretary Miguel Cardomo mentioned about the funding for social emotional learning for school counselors and that we will remain to be looking forward to when it comes to our desk or it comes into our office, whether in forms of resources or in forms of training and pers uh, professional development. We are awaiting for such uh, very important uh, resource so that we can fully work hand in hand with, with all the stakeholders for the benefit of all students in our school system. And this is not just for this particular year, but for the generations to come. So Guam uh, and the Guam Association of School Counselors has placed Guam in the map of the United States once again, and would like to uh, share that we're so humbled and honored to be there, me and Jolyn, and also our incoming president, Nadine Cruz. Thank you so much, uh, Senator uh, Shelton, for allowing me to speak. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, outgoing president, for those words and for sharing the exciting news uh, that uh, Guam is uh, really uh, on the map and uh, being recognized for all of the hard work. And I apologize that I deviated from our program here. I forgot to read the main part of the resolution and I got so excited to hear from the school counselors, but please allow me to uh, read into the record the resolution because I think it's very important to highlight uh, the many good things that you've been doing throughout these last few years. And this is a resolution introduced by Senator Talina Nelson, who is the chairperson of education. Uh, she is on military duty right now, so cannot be here to present this. And I'm presenting as her acting chair on education. It's also introduced by our other colleagues of the 36th Guam legislature, Sabina Flores Perez, Jose Pito Terlahi, Joe S. San Augustine, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, V. Anthony Ada, Clinton E. Rogel, Frank F. Blige Jr., Mary Camacho Torres, and all other senators of the 36th Guam Legislature. Resolution number 248-36. Whereas Guam school counselors will be partaking in the observance of the 2022 National School Counseling Week to celebrate the accomplishments of our island school counselors, who are to be commended for their tireless efforts in upholding the mission of providing the support and guidance necessary for the success of Guam's youth. School counselors are unsung heroes in our community who go above and beyond the call of duty to help students explore their strengths, interests, and talents. School counselors are community partners who collaborate with various stakeholders, organizations, and social agencies to help families fully support the growth of students academically, socially, mentally, and their personal lives. As school counselors are open-minded individuals who believe there are always ways to solve problems and overcome challenges. 
Our island school counselors are vital to the continued growth of public and private schools for future generations to come. And throughout any changes in our community, school counselors are professionals who stay current with diverse and comprehensive ways to address the needs of our island students. School counseling programs are designed to foster a foundation for lifelong learning by removing barriers to students' academic success. And early identification and intervention is essential in removing barriers to learning and promoting academic growth. Guam school counselors provide direct and indirect student services and curricular activities to increase the knowledge, skills, and attitudes of students to achieve their potential inside and outside the school setting. The Guam Association of School Counselors mission is to represent and support the work of school counselors by promoting professionalism and ethical practices as Guam school counselors are committed to advancing the professional development of school counseling through comprehensive and data-driven programs and can positively impact their students' development as they transition to gainful employment and become contributing and productive community members. In 2018, the Guam Association of School Counselors received the distinction of becoming the first organization in the United States territory to become an affiliate of the National American School Counselor Association. Guam school counselors continue to advocate for students' academic, career, social, and emotional development needs, and to work to ensure that issues with their well-being are addressed, and our island school counselors maintain and facilitate professional standards that effect change for the overall success of all students. During the observance of the 2022 National School Counseling Week, School Counseling Better Together, from February 7th to 11, 2022, our community school counselors will engage in various activities and programs to celebrate and strengthen their services for the betterment of our island's youth. Now, therefore, be it resolved that you mean I trentai sai snala has the tour in Guahan, does hereby on behalf of the people of Guam recognize the observance of the 2022 National School Counseling Week from February 7th to February 11th, 2022 with the theme School Counseling Better Together and commend the Guam Department of Education School Counselors and the Guam Association of School Counselors for their continued dedication and commitment to the youth of Guam. And be it further resolved that the speaker and the secretary attest to the adoption hereof and that copies be transmitted to Estella Calata, president of the Guam Association of School Counselors, to Mr. John Fernandez, superintendent of the Guam Department of Education, and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero E. Magahagan Guahan. And this is your resolution here. We will deliver it to you, but this is for all of you, our school counselors, uh, Biba school counselors, and congratulations on another year of hard work. We look forward to many, many more years of your service to our students and to our island. And I'd like to, again, thank uh, Ms. Kalata for sharing those words about uh, school counseling. And I'd like to invite anyone who's here, if they'd want to say something about your experience as a school counselor, we'd love to listen. Yes, uh, Mr. Ada, please. Uh, thank you very much. Um, listening to the heading uh, and the body of your resolution really describes a school counselor. A school counselor is a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a nurse, a pastor. They are everything. They uh, they had, you know, teachers to handle hundreds of kids, counselors handle thousands of kids. Counselors are the ones that play this passing. Uh, counselors are the first to kind of notice a child's changes, and there are many of those changes in, in a child, and they usually discuss it over with the kids and discuss it with the parents. So 
Having said that, I'll make it short, brief, and straight to the point that every school counselor here would agree. Senator, please talk to the 14 other senators and please pass as soon as possible so that we can give these teachers, counselors, and those that are working with the uh, Guam public school system, what they rightly deserve. It's hard, they stood by it. As again, like I said during my testimony a couple of days ago, that many kids, uh, st many students graduated from the university. Half of them went to Dodea. Some of them went to other non-public schools. Some of them came to DOE and some of them changed profession. Our retired teachers want to come back and counselors want to come back. But looking at the pay scale, you know what I'm told? It's not even worth it. So let's remove that stigma in the minds of our people who have dedicated their lives and service to our children. And please, Senator, talk to your 14. You're only one. But talk to your 14 and ask them, please, let's take care of our teachers are the people of the Department of Education. And that's all. To all of you counselors, thank you. Thank you so much for bearing with our children and taking a lot of the heat from the parents, but you managed to take control and the kids are happy. Sometimes they're closer to you than their own parents. So thank you again, and Senator, 14 of you, we're counting. Uh, as they say, I'm going to say it, as a political issue, let us together walk the talk and pay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ada. Is there anyone else who'd like to say something in celebration of School Counselors Week? Hi, I think I'd, I'd take a, I'd take a, just a moment of your time. Uh, thank you for all being here, by the way. This is Leilani Guerrero from the School of Education. And I teach the adjunct school counseling programs up at SOE. And we, we get a week to celebrate, but school counselors should be celebrated all year for everything that they do because it's not an easy job. We get not only the social emotional, but also pushing academics and students toward their career uh, paths. There's just, uh, you know, it's like, like uh, uh, our, go our board member, our Peter Alexis Ada was saying that um, we, we're a lot, we take on a lot of jobs and duties and we do it with a smile. And sometimes we have to kick in that self-care to really push us through. And, you know, congratulations for the one week that we get. But again, we should be celebrating all year. Happy National School Counseling Week to all the school counselors. Viva school counselors. Biba, yes, Biba. Anyone else? All right, thank you all very much for being here today in celebration of National School Counseling Week. We thank you all for your service and you're right, not just this week, but every day of the year, thank you for what you're doing for our students, for being there for them and uh, being on the front line and addressing so many critical issues for us. We appreciate you very much. We uh, are praying for you and all of the work that you're doing. Thank you and God bless you all. Please stay safe and Biba School Counselors. See you. Adios. Biba.